Shares of Tesla Motors on the rise this week in the wake of the company unveiling the new Model 3. Tesla accepted more than 300,000 pre-orders at $1,000 a pop. So, wow, pretty nice to have some additional working capital. Well, Chris, do you know what the best-selling car in the United States was last year? Uh, it was Ford, right? It was a F one fifty for a, for a vehicle. Yes, for the best-selling car was actually the Toyota Camry. Sold three hundred sixty-one thousand units. Tesla has three hundred thousand pre-orders mm-hmm. for the Model Three already, and they've collected, of course, a working capital up front for the reservations. So this is phenomenal. I mean, and, and Elon Musk is saying the Gigafactory has it has the supply output to supply five hundred thousand vehicles every year. So we're already in the conversation of best-selling vehicle potentially in America, and we haven't even gotten there. I mean, we don't expect the Model 3 to come out until the end of 2017, possibly 2018 already. Do you know what the key difference is, though, there? Is that Toyota actually (laughs) built and delivered all those cars. Tes- and yes. To this point, Tesla Motors doesn't have a great track record of producing a lot of cars quickly. And they only sold 51,000 last year, which is this is an amazing ramp up if they're able to pull it off. Of course, we've talked um, on the MDP podcast a couple of days ago about you can never bet against Elon Musk. He always sets the bar really high and people laugh at him at first. And then he delivers. And then I think that this is going to be another phenomenal improvement for Tesla. Well, you can bet against them. It's just probably not a smart <laughs> thing to do, well, yeah, very well long term at least. But I think one thing to remember, too, is that this is one of those businesses that a lot of people root for, right? I mean, we want to see something like this uh, happen. Our current energy policy, we don't want to be driving around gas guzzlers forever. Yeah. So, this is a really easy company to root for. And, and hey, let him set the bar high because someone's got to do it. It may not work out necessarily in the time frame they set, but I, I have really no doubt in my mind that it will happen. I think this is just the first of, of many steps forward to, to many new options when it comes to transportation. It's interesting. There are 30 million shares, 32 million shares sold short of Tesla. So yeah. clearly, many of us want him to succeed, but you know there are definitely many out there that are betting against him. See, I and I'm I'm on the sidelines. I'm not saying this is necessarily going to succeed, but not in a million years would you get me to bet against Elon Musk, because I think that, among other things, people who look at this company and try to value it the way that they value a Ford Motor or a Toyota are just not thinking about it the right way at all. Right, and we're not even talking about you know solar system uh, battery backup, or if they're selling batteries to other vehicles. Yeah. We're just talking the Model 3 here. And to put some numbers behind it really quickly, Chris, if, uh, if they do sell 500,000 cars, say an average price of $40,000 a car, that's $20 billion of revenue, more than five times what Tesla's doing today. Well, and this cash gives them breathing room for having to go out and raise more money, too.